my sweet pen friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Devin. In today's video, I wanted to share my new ink journal system inspired by my first time participating in hashtag 30 inks 30 days. If you want to learn more about hashtag 30 inks 30 days, I'll leave a link in the description box below. I did see this as an opportunity to start anew with my ink catalog system. I had swatched some inks in my Rhodia dot grid notepad as well as tried to make something of an old Hobonichi, but neither of these methods were something that I was entirely committed to or exactly enthralled by. I decided to make a list of all the things that I wanted out of an ink journal and decided that a disc bound notebook system would be best. This would allow me to make use of my Rhodia dot grid paper, which I really like for inks, and would also give me the flexibility to organize my ink swatches as I like. I think we see why this is important because my indecision for how I wanted to catalog my inks is starting to spill over into how I want to organize these ink swatches. But with the disc bound system, I can change my mind as much as I want within the realm of reason. And it'll also give me the flexibility to pull out my swatches and compare colors as I start to swatch more inks and want to see what is currently in my ink collection. I did consider having some sort of index card system to catalog my inks, but having a journal would provide me a bit more space to organize all the inky details that I wanted to capture. And I think I'm just a journal girl at heart. Any excuses or ideas to have a journal, I'm all for it. So let's go ahead and walk through what one of these ink swatch pages would look like in my new ink journal. I of course have a space to swatch the ink. I decided on a hybrid sort of swatch where I'm using three different methods. The first is with a cotton swab. The second is an ink splatter with my eyedropper tool. And I thought this would give me a little bit more information as to how the ink looks in different situations. The third method of swatching is after I've inked up my pen and I just thought it would be nice and aesthetically pleasing to add a little leafy design. I don't know that it's all that necessary since I will be providing some writing samples on this page, but I like how it looks so we're just gonna roll with it. After I've completed my ink swatches, I go ahead and write the name of the ink at the top of the page. Of course, this is essential if I want to reference back to a certain color and to see if it's something that I either want to add to my collection in a full bottle or just again want to compare it to a different color. I also write where I've purchased the ink from as well as a short little blurb of what the color of this ink is. In addition to this information, I thought it would be helpful to rate the ink on a scale of one to five stars for my own personal reference. This is entirely based on my own opinion. There is no science or formula behind it other than do I enjoy this ink? I'm rating it solely on its enjoyability factor for my own preferences. And I'm going to do this as well in my little pen log underneath that. I want to keep track of all the different pens that I use with this ink because I do think it plays a factor. I might enjoy using this ink with one pen over another and having that logged on this page will allow me to see and quickly access that information. Upon completion of participating in hashtag 30 inks 30 days, I do plan on sharing an update of this ink journal, so stay tuned for that. Are you participating in hashtag 30 inks 30 days? Let us know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and feel free to share it with a pen friend who you think might also enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe and to turn on those notifications, that way you don't miss any of our videos. I do my best to upload here every Wednesday at 8 a.m. PST, so please take care until then. Feel free to enjoy these two videos that will be linked here on the screen. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.